What's up guys? Haven't seen you guys in a few days. Um, I got really, or I am really sick. I still haven't been able to get rid of this flu. Um, my throat is killing me. Uh, my eye was pretty much like swollen shut a few days ago because it was watering so much and I've got massive congestion. I'm pretty much deaf from this ear. It's, it's hit me really bad this time. But um, I've been going crazy. Like, I really I want to make a video. I've been going, I've just been sitting here not doing anything. I'm pretty much quarantined from the rest of my family because uh, my mom could get catch anything really, really easily. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages and I've been seeing a lot of talk regarding the, um, the From Ashes or the Ashes DLC, the Mass Effect 3 DLC. I seriously haven't read too much about it just because I don't want to get uh, any spoilers. I know, um, before I go into this, uh, I want to say that this is going to contain spoilers. Uh, pretty big ones, so for those of you that don't want to know anything about Mass Effect 3, um, or don't want to hear spoilers, because this is considered a spoiler. I had I had said this a long time ago in one of my videos, um, one of my Mass Effect talks, I believe it was like a Q&A that I did, and I said that a long time ago, like this was like when, um, when Bioware had barely put up the collector's edition, this the N7 collector's edition, on um, on the on their site. When they first first put it on there, they had on there that the DLC was going to be a Prothean. They they had that like way back then, and I was and people went crazy. They were like, "Oh my God, a Prothean DLC!" and they were like so happy, and almost immediately. Um, Bioware scratched it off. They took it off the, end, the, 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 the collector's edition. And Chris Priestley went on the Bioware forums and said that that, was, that had been something that they were, they were thinking about early on and that they just decided to scratch it. But I was like, did they really scratch it? Or were they just, you know, trying to keep it a secret? Turns out that they were trying to keep it a secret because now they're putting it back on there. So... It's not like they just came up with this. A lot of people think that they just came up with this and that they just like forced it on there. Um they didn't force it on there. It's always it's always it's always been their plan to do it. Um and I always thought it would be just because I was like I mean, a lot of people were like there's no way that they're going to make such a huge character, a Prothean, a DLC. And I was like, yeah, there is. I mean, that's that's a good way to sell the collector's edition. Um, you know, having that gimmick on there. I wish I could give more insight on this issue because I know a lot of people are really pissed off. Um, but I, um, I had like I said, I haven't been looking into it as much. See, people have a lot of people have been sending me links. A lot of people have been sending me links of the voice of the Prothean the pictures of the Prothean and I I would really appreciate it if you didn't because I'm not even looking at them I'm deleting them because uh, I don't I don't want to hear the Prothean I don't want to see the Prothean I've seen uh, little snippets of the pro pro Prothean just because a lot of times I can't avoid seeing them like with uh, some of the links that you guys send me they have like a little picture of the Prothean on there and I'm just like Oh man, and I just click off. So I know a little, a, a bit, a little bit of how he looks like, but um, and it's kind of weird. I don't know. I was like, I, 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 I expected the Protheans to look different, but it's probably they probably have a reason for him to look that way. I'm not sure, but but yeah, I really, I really don't know too much about it. Um, but and I'm not really p b making a big huge deal about it either because. I already knew that they were going to have it on the collector's edition from early on. Um, it was just a matter of time. And I'm going to be getting the DLC anyways because I got the collector's edition. Uh, the only thing that is kind of messed up though <clears throat> is <clears throat> that EA is kind of pushing it. 
um, they're starting to, and not just with Mass Effect or Bioware, uh, EA has 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 a huge reputation of trying to um, get money from from their from gamers from the people that buy their games uh, with the the EA Online Pass the Origin thing um, the I think what was it <sighs> There's a game I can't remember I think it's the EA, the EA Online Pass where you can't play um, multiplayer online unless you buy it um, it's not like a lot of other games, multiplayer games, where you could just, you know, go on there and play. Uh, EA is really big about always paying for things and buying this pass or online passes um, and that kind of thing. And they're really, you could just see that, it's not Bioware, you could just see that EA is really pushing um, to, uh, to make more money. That, that I don't agree with. That is kind of messed up. And, I mean, considering that this is a huge character, a Prothean, and they're putting him as a DLC that you have to pay for the first day that that Mass Effect comes out, if you have the standard edition, um, that kind of sucks. It really does. I, I do I do agree with a lot of you guys. I, I understand why a lot of you guys are, are angry. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the collector's edition is, is already sold out for pre-orders. Um, I don't know if they're gonna make another batch. It'd be nice, but I doubt it. They hardly ever do that. So, kinda does suck. I feel kinda bad for a lot of people. Um, because I'm gonna get it, regardless. But, I mean, it's kinda like, you pretty much, you have to pay for the DLC the day it comes out. You have a standard edition. It's almost like I mean, plus tax, it's almost like you're 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 nearly paying the collector's edition, but you're getting screwed off all the other perks that come with the collector's edition. So it's like, you know, kind of sucks. It, it does. Um, I, I I'm I'm sorry that that this was done. I'm sure that a lot of it was EA though. I know Bioware pretty much is EA. But um, if EA wasn't breathing down Bioware's necks, I'm pretty sure Bioware wouldn't have done it. Um, I think they probably would have done it like they did with Zaid. I believe Zaid. I, I, I mean, Zaid was a, a DLC for Mass Effect 2, and he was he was. I believe he came with the standard edition. He came with all the editions. I believe he was like code. Um, I, I don't think you had to do anything special for that. I think he was just like a code in the in the the game. I'm pretty sure that that's how it was. I don't remember. I I don't I don't remember ever having to pay for for Zaid. And I thought that's what they were gonna do, when I heard about the the pro theme being the DLC a long time ago. I thought that that's what they were gonna do. I was like, that's must must be kind of like Zaid, but unfortunately, it's not really that that easy anymore. Um, especially with EA completely starting to change. Um, their, their the way that they work they're starting to get more money out of the, the out of the consumer and I don't know if they're going green or what but they're they I guess they're trying to save paper with them not including not including the manuals in the act like a physical manual uh, they do have the manual in the actual game like in the options but not a physical paper manual and I don't know if that's because they're going like sustainable and all that. I don't know, but EA is changing a lot, and unfortunately, it kind of came in the bad, this whole transition kind of came in a bad moment, um, because back then it wasn't that, it, they weren't like this, at least not this much. EA has always had a pretty bad reputation, um, but they weren't this bad back then. So, I mean, I wish there was something that could be done. I know a lot of people have said, you know, make a video and and maybe it'll make a difference. And I'm just like, I wish, I wish I could do that. I, hell, I, I, if I could, I would call EA right now and call Bioware and tell them. Um, but I don't think it's it's just, it's gonna it's gonna change what they're doing because um, Casey Hudson tweeted about this 
a few days ago, and he said something like this that they had this in mind a long time ago, and um, that uh, what did he say? You know what? He said something about the DLC being free somewhere. Hold on, let me check. Okay, here it is. Um, he, I think he's been getting a bunch of um, comments from people, and it's kind of sad that there a lot of people are kind of attacking Casey Hudson when he really, I don't think he has a choice in this issue. He says the Prothean downloadable content character is really cool, but not at all critical to the main story. ME3 centers on the Reapers, not the Protheans. I mean, I don't think that's huge consolation just because, I mean, a Prothean squad member, you really can't say no to that, even if they're not critical to the story. But a lot of people are using that, um, that argument that having a Prothean um, DLC or having a Prothean character as a DLC is really really big for the story like it's critical and Casey Hudson says it's not it's awesome like he says it's really cool but it's not critical uh, I really don't know anybody that would say no to it though uh, and then he says it's not the planning for a DLC that is done after the main game is finished but the actual work the team puts in to build it but the whole thing about it being free was um, down here somebody said uh, sorry to bother, the Digital Deluxe has From Ashes DLC for free? This is a question that they asked him. He says, sure does. And I believe, I, I was looking at the Digital Deluxe, I was like, what is that? It's uh, Mass Effect 3 available for the PSN pre-order. So if you pre-order the Mass Effect 3 on the uh, PlayStation Network, it doesn't say it on here uh, that you get the Prothean, but you do get... <clears throat> the M55 Argus Rifle and it says other uh, exclusive bonuses and Casey Hudson if this is what he's talking about if this is the digital digital deluxe if this is what the digital deluxe is then you guys get the Prothean for free if you, if you pre-order it with this and I think this is the way to go for you PlayStation users because I mean the, the, the collector's editions are are sold out in a lot of parts, a lot of places, I believe. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm pretty sure they are sold out. Um, I'm not sure if they're sold out here in the United States, but I, I, someone sent me a message that they were sold out in the UK, I believe. But yeah, I think that's a way to go if you have the PlayStation and you haven't been able to get the collector's edition. If you weren't able to get the collector's edition, I'd say pre-order the digital deluxe so that you could get that free, um, downloadable content. Casey Hudson also says uh, DLC has fast cert and no MFG so if a team works very hard they can get a, D a DLC done in time to enjoy it with your first playthrough on day one. I mean that's cool that they're I, I like that I like the idea that it's coming out um, the first day uh, just because you know I, I, I want to play the freaking game with the Prothean from the beginning but it sucks that they're that they're having uh, people buy it on the first day uh, for the standard editions just because it's almost like they're paying for the collector's edition but not getting the collector's edition yeah I, I, but like I said I can't say too much just because I've kind of been reserving myself as to how much I read when it comes to this because I don't want to I know the Protheans in there I've always speculated it um, I know about the other character too I know about Edie I've always speculated this as well I've always speculated the whole idea about Edie, but I haven't looked at any pictures. Now, Edie, I haven't seen anything. I do not want to see anything regarding Edie, so don't send me anything, because I'm just going to delete it. I've, I've read little things here and there by accident, so I know a little bit, um, but not too much. But I've, I've predicted these things. Um, I believe me and Scottish Warrior 92 had been talking about this or a long time ago, so we had predicted this stuff already, so it's not huge like a, a huge surprise, at least not to me, but um, since this is a huge thing, at least it is for me, I've been dying to see a Prothean, like I really wanted the Protheans to be in Mass Effect 3, and now that they are, uh, I or at least one, I guess, I don't know, um, I don't want to 
I don't want to know anything about it. I want to find out about it in the game. I want to be like, wow, you know, that's so cool. That's what he looks like, or that's what he sounds like. Um, and same with Edie. So that's pretty much it. I know a lot of you are enraged about this whole issue, and you guys have all the the right to be. I mean, hell, if I if I hadn't um, if I hadn't um, reserved the collector's edition, and I was stuck with buying the standard edition, and I found out that I had to buy the DLC as well. Um, I mean, not not have to, but I mean, huge Mass Effect fans. It's not like they're not gonna buy it. Um, I mean, unless you want to, like, put the finger up to the EA, then you probably won't buy it just to show that you're against them, but I would buy it anyways, just because there's no way I wouldn't, but I would be pissed. I'd be like, are you serious? You know, just a few more dollars and I'd be getting, I'd be pretty much paying for the collector's edition, but I'm not getting all the other nice stuff that it comes with. I'd be pissed. So, um... I understand where you guys are coming from. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that because I was getting a lot of uh, messages regarding it. And I, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do all the Mass Effect talks that I had planned before Mass Effect 3 came out. And I'm not going to stress over it, whatever. I've been getting sick a lot uh, lately and it's just been putting me back, um, on, back in my schedule. Like, it's really not... It hasn't been too good, uh for planning so I don't want to stress it out I mean if I could I would but I uh, haven't had the best of luck lately but um so I'm just not gonna stress out I'm gonna do the collectors video whenever I can um if I can today I will if not one of these days in the weekend uh, I, I am gonna do the most important um, mass effect videos that I think uh, are are worth or that need to be talked about before Mass Effect 3. Like one of them, I have to go, I want to go over the, the novel characters, especially Kai Lang. I want to talk about him because a lot of people don't know too much about him just because they haven't read the novels. So that I am going to do no matter what before Mass Effect 3. And I'm also going to talk about Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 uh, before Mass Effect 3. And I also have this thing that I just finished yesterday, finished writing. Um, I'm going to do this little, uh, this special little thing, uh, it's a little unique way of letting you guys know who my shepherd is. Because I am going to be doing a let's play, a uh, blind let's play of Mass Effect 3. I already got my HD PVR, by the way, I haven't even told you guys about that. I wanted to do a let's play of Alan Wake, um, but not going to happen. Like, uh, maybe later when I get better, but... <clears throat> I tried, and I was just like, Hi guys, I'm GamerMD3. <laughs> no. But, um... Oh, man. What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, the getting getting to know my shepherd. Um, I'm almost 100% sure I'm going to do that Let's Play with my male shepherd. I know a lot of you wanted to see the my female shepherd. But the thing about my female shepherd, I've said this in previous videos, that um, the only shepherd that I beat Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 is my main shepherd, ma my male shepherd. Um, I didn't beat Mass Effect 1 with my, ma with my female shepherd that I have right now. I only beat Mass Effect 2 with her. And I did do the Genesis comic with her so I can make some of the bigger, the big, um, the big decision for Mass Effect 1. The reason why I didn't beat Mass Effect 1 with her was because I had a female shepherd and I had a, a previous male shepherd on my brother's old Xbox. And I beat Mass Effect 1 and all that with them and I was going to import them into Mass Effect 2 but my brother's Xbox just stopped working. It just, it died. And I was like, one day it did turn on and I was able to transfer data to this, to my new Xbox, and I was able to save my my original character, my my original my main my main shepherd, which I was happy about, and I did save uh, other files, I believe, but it didn't save the full files of the other shepherds because the stupid Xbox just crapped out again, and I was like, uh. so I didn't get those shepherds. I lost those two shepherds, and I was pissed, and I was like. 
screw it, I'm not going to do this again. And I just started Mass Effect uh, 2 with a new Shepard. And I did the Genesis comic. So that's why. I don't know if you guys want to see my first playthrough with my main Shepard. I, I, I don't mind doing uh, my first playthrough with either one. The reason why, I would love to do the, my first playthrough with my main Shepard. Just because he's been through Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. And I just have this connection with him. Like, I, I love my main Shepard. He is Shepard for me. But I really want to do my first gameplay with my female Shepard as well. Just because she romanced Garrus. And I'm just dying to know how that plays out in Mass Effect 3. And I know that I'm going to be really, really, like, curious to... to like, I'm going to be like, oh, what, what, what... Well, if I'm playing with my male shepherd, I'd probably be thinking what would be happening if that was my female shepherd right now. I don't know. I, I might leave it up to you guys. I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be awesome to see my first playthrough with my main shepherd just because he's been through Mass Effect 1. And you guys will see all the options for a character that has been through all games. Um, so I, I, that's one of the reasons why I'm siding with him uh, more than with female shepherd. And I did this little thing uh, where I'm probably going to be doing it sometime soon, maybe when my voice gets better, is letting you know who he is so that you guys know him a little bit better. Someone once said to me to do a video um, about the background of my shepherd and all that and like who, who, who my shepherd is, who I made him to be. And that's kind of what I did. I kind of did that so that you guys could get a good idea of who he is. Um, it's a unique way, I think. I've never seen it done this way, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, and hopefully you guys get pumped about seeing my first playthrough with him. But we'll see. I'm, I still haven't uh, decided 100% yet, but that will come. Um, I'm super excited about that. I have a little surprise for you guys. For those of you that follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you might be wondering what... Project Retaliation is Mass Effect 3 Project Retaliation Because um, I put that prepare for Mass Effect 3 Project Retaliation. This is not a Bioware project That's all I'm saying, but it's coming very very soon and I'm, I'm super super excited um, About this. I'm not gonna say much about it. I'm not gonna say much more um, But I am gonna be announcing it very soon Because uh, it might even be as soon as today, later today. Uh, but yeah, look forward to that. That's going to be really, really cool. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.